welcome friends to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host Seishu and usually I have a, 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 a photographer who's got a product to sell or a workshop to talk about. Uh, this time around it's a little personal. Uh, this is a friend of mine who you're seeing. His name is David Apuzo. He's a photographer, a phenomenal photographer by the way, um, right here in Connecticut. He's got a studio in Hamden and he lives in Southington, Connecticut. Uh, recently uh, he was married and when he came back from his honeymoon, uh, his wife was diagnosed with acute liver failure. I, I don't know anything about uh, acute liver failure, but I wanted to talk a little bit about his experience uh, only because I think as human beings, this could be our experience. And I think this is important for us to share and understand. Uh, David and his wife, Becky, are wonderful people. I've met them both. And uh, he, I'll tell you a little bit of a story about David in a little bit, but I want to introduce David and say, hey, welcome to the show, man. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, give us a little bit of a backstory. What happened? What's going on? Uh, you know, I know you're right now at the hospital as we are talking. Yeah, I'm in the family room. <laughs> you're in the family room. <laughs> yeah. Um, trying, to, trying to, you know, you're waiting for a liver transplant for your wife. Yes. You know, nothing, nothing can be more immediate, more urgent, more no important in your lives right now than this thing right this second i mean it's it's to save her life absolutely absolutely yeah. um i know i gave a bit a small you know description of how things sort of happened I mean, you came back from your honeymoon and she was yeah. she was pulled into the hospital and and she mm -hmm. was diagnosed with acute liver failure which is like yeah. you know like boom 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 you know like lots of things going on yeah. what tell us what 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 went on and how, how did it all sort of well transpire? um you know, we were doing all of our planning for our wedding, and then um, around Mother's Day, she started getting a little fatigued, like a little tired. And, you know, we just thought that it had to do with uh, the fact that we were getting married, and there was excitement and stress and, you know, all those fun things that come along with planning a wedding. Absolutely. Um, and then we got towards the wedding, and the wedding was perfect. Like, we couldn't have even asked for a better day. It was like 85, sunny. It was like, it was perfect. Like, there's, I, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I would love to do it again, but like, like you can't ask for a better a better day. Um, and then we went on our honeymoon. We went to Hawaii, and I would say about five or six days in, I I really started. I mean, I knew she was a little tired, but I started noticing like her, um, uh, like her her eyes were really yellow. Um, she was tired. She was telling me like she was having a little bit of uh, you know issues with the bathroom and. Um, uh, so I said, well, we need to get this thing figured out. Like, you you know, I played the husband card for the first time. I was like, I'm your husband. You need to tell me these things now. Sure, sure. And, did did uh, you cut, cut short your honeymoon? At no. All? We, we, we powered through it. The thing about Becky is, like, she's such a selfless person. And, you know, she puts everyone else first um, before herself. So she didn't want, <laughs> these are her words, she didn't want to spoil any of my fun. And, um, you know, so it's it's just a testament to like what you know what type of person she is like she just she cares so much about other people she puts them first right. and um so i said okay well you know we were debating whether or not to go to the clinic down there but then we were like well what 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 if something happens and she gets stuck down there like we can't deal with that so we the morning we came back uh we we got home it was like you know it was like over a 10 hour flight um, we had like two layovers, so like it was just exhausting for her. Absolutely. We got back. We took about a three-hour nap um, just to catch up on some sleep, and then when we woke up, she was she was very tired again. And I was like, okay, well, let's get in the car. We're going down to the clinic right now. We're not putting this off anymore. And so we went down there, and they did a blood test, um, and then they were like, oh, well, you know, we'll let you know in a couple of days. It usually takes a few days, and it's the weekend. And okay, so we're like, all right, so we'll, we'll just hold out. The very next morning, I would say it's like less than, what, 12 hours later, um, they called us up and they were like, you need to go to the emergency room. Then they started to explain to us that, like, her bilirubin numbers were high. Um, you know, she had, an, there was an issue with the liver. So from there, we we got in the car immediately. We, we just dropped everything. She spent one night at home. And then um, we went up to Harvard Hospital and we were there for 30 days for her, you know, just being monitored. And the thing was, is, you know, she's, she's kind of like a medical mystery because her kidney function is fine. Her heart's fine. She doesn't drink. She doesn't smoke. She doesn't do drugs. You know, she's, she's the healthiest person I know. Um, right. she even got me healthier, you know, yeah. um, 
you know, I used to eat like garbage and now like I'm eating better and, right. you know, I lost some weight and, right. um, you know, she's, she's an inspiration. So, right. um, so we were there and, and because of all of her other functions were so good, like they, they, they didn't list her and they checked her blood, like they checked her blood, uh, blood test like every day. Um, and it was just like a waiting game to see if she would get better or if she would progress worse. And, you know, she had her good days and her bad days, but, you know, she was such a mystery. So I would say after the 30 days, we just kind of got fed up and we were like, we need some answers. We need a second opinion. And that's when we transferred here to Yale. And, and within five or six hours of her being here in, in Yale, they, they put her into the ICU and they listed her for transplant. And uh, they did a ton of tests on her. And, right. you know, other than her liver, she's good. So it's just kind of one of those you know, freak accidents that, that happens. And, you know, as I'm telling people, like they, they do know that, you know, they did a biopsy on her in Hartford and they know that it was caused by some kind of a toxin. We may never know what the toxin is. Um, we're okay with that now. I mean, it was hard to kind of, it's a hard pill to swallow for, for that. But, sure. um, but she, uh, she's staying strong. She's hanging in there, you know, um, um, and then, and, you know, today she's, she's, or, or last week, I should say, she um, she caught um, some kind of an infection um, within her. Uh, you know, for people that don't know about acute liver failure, what happens too is um, she, you get a lot of fluid buildup, mm -hmm. and I think she she gained like close to forty pounds just of fluid, um, and you know she's one hundred and five pounds. You know, soaking wet. She's four eleven. She's tiny, yeah. and uh, so she ended up getting some kind of infection in her in her fluid that that got into her bloodstream um so they had to put her on antibiotics and she had some really 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 bad days like it's very hard to even watch mm. um it's nothing that anybody should go through but you know with the with this toxin that she she had caught anybody could have been exposed to it and just reacted differently we could have maybe maybe it was a food or something she could have eaten it i could have eaten it she had a some kind of a reaction and I didn't you know it's just like that's what I'm saying is like this could happen to anybody at any time that's right. um, whether you're a hundred percent healthy or if, even if you're not healthy right. um, now the thing about it being acute as opposed to chronic means that it came on within the past couple months so which means it's not something that's built up over over time um, something triggered it and boom she had a liver failure right yeah and then um you know it's gradually gotten worse and mm -hmm. now she's at a point where she's she's stable they're giving her medicine to kind of help with the um the fluids and things like that and she's actually the past i would say past week she's lost like 20 pounds of of that fluid so okay. she's doing a lot better right. there were days where she couldn't roll over onto her side she couldn't sit up by herself she could i mean she can't do anything um, you know, we'd have to help her with the shower and the bathroom and, and things like that. But, um, you know, it, it's very, very difficult, especially her being only 31, you know, and completely healthy. It's like, you know, no one should have to go through that. And Absolutely. The, the, like I was saying, the, the difference between chronic and acute is, you know, chronic, you could kind of have that for a long time. And like, say for like, it's it's kind of self-inflicting. So, like, if you, if you like drink a lot, you know, alcoholics especially, um, you know, it, it affects their liver. Right. Um, you could cut all that stuff out and then get better. Um, the thing about acute liver failure is it comes on really quickly, without warning, and you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Right. She could still have a really bad day. She can have a really good day. Um, there's there's no telling. Right. What's what's going to happen? So n now you are uh, playing the waiting game. You're waiting for yep. a liver that you would uh, you would accept that yes. would work for her. Yep. Uh, uh, you know that would be matched with her. I'm sure. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, that's that's a completely like as you were telling me before we started recording. It could happen in the next five minutes, or it could be something that could happen in the next five days or five months. Uh, right. Hopefully not five months. Hopefully right. it's really really soon. Seriously. Um, but while all of this is happening, uh, mm -hmm. clearly you are, uh, you're not at your studio and no. neither, neither is Becky at her no. hair salon. She's a hairstylist. Yeah. Um, and you both are self-employed. Uh, yep. Clearly this is taking a toll on you in terms of your finances. Mm -hmm. um, and 
uh, you know, you know, there's a there's a there's a fundraising campaign, I guess you could, if that's yep. what you call it, um, on GoFundMe. Yeah, her and friend I'm, Tracy, which was one of her um, her bridesmaids and a, a longtime friend, uh-huh. um, her and her her girlfriends who have been friends for a very very long time got together and they they decided they wanted to do this for us. So well, they, what they, a noble they cause, put it up absolutely. For us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, very unexpected. Yeah, I, I I will I will make sure to link to that page. Uh, so far, uh, you know, friends have uh, rallied and mm-hmm. and contributed uh, close to twenty two thousand um, dollars. But you know, as we all know, uh, the business we are in, the photography business we're in, is seasonal. I mean, it, it, wherever you are, you know, there's the wedding season, there's the portrait season, there's a yeah. the season to go to the beach, whatever it is. You know, yeah. there's just you know, and there's ups and downs in this economy as well. And l- there's lots of challenges. And so this is an appeal, not just from David. But also for me to for everyone who's listening in uh, and watching this this short interview with David to step up, you know, to say, hey, let's let's rally together and put put some money down uh, and, uh, and that we can that can help uh, this new family really uh, make it. Uh, you know, they're they're challenged already on the medical side. They shouldn't be challenged on the financial side. So um, that's my appeal to you. Uh, I was going to tell you a story about David. Um, David and I went to Inspire uh, early this year. This is how I got to know David. Um, there was this incident where my wiper blades did not work for some reason. And, they, and we were running right through a snowstorm. And David was such a trooper. And he was always he was like giving me suggestions. And one suggestion was very, very simple. He said, why don't you just <laughs> stick your minivan, which is what I was driving, uh, right behind one of those tractor trailers. Yeah. And that would kick up a lot of the water, the dirt, whatever. And then use that as, as, as a way to as wipe, your wipe fluid, as, a, yeah. as my wiper fluid. Yeah. It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <coughs> hey. and, and it was, uh, it was, it was so so uh timely so just useful it's just uh, th- it's just that kind of thing that i loved right away about david uh th- and there was one other thing and while we st- we'd stopped uh to get some gas or whatever go to the bathroom it, it was a long drive four hours up from from connecticut to maine uh you know i i i'd want, i'd gone to use the bathroom and david had popped out and bought uh, a wiper fluid for me mm-hmm. and he didn't buy just one bottle <laughs> he bought three and yeah, i was like yeah. well, dude what's going on he goes oh just you know let's just let's just be sure that we have enough for <laughs> for the whole ride and we were all, you know, that, that again that showed uh just how generous you are man you know really the fact is you are thinking ahead and 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 really you know you're like a problem solver all the time i can tell um and that really endeared uh, my relationship to you and i just feel like wow this is a this is really a guy to keep in touch with all the time um so glad you were able to talk to us today. I know Thanks. this isn't like the ideal situation to talk mm-hmm. about. On, we, at no, some no. point, we're going to talk about your, your, your photography <laughs> work as well, because I know you do some amazing, amazing photography. Uh, but this is a, this is a personal uh, appeal yeah. from both David and I uh, for all of you to just step up. You know, uh, this is... It's, well, it's, let me, I want to, if I can yeah, interrupt you for a minute. Please, I just want to say like, you know, um, you know, we... Another story about you know this whole situation with 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 Becky is um, you know we went off telling people for over a month um, because we were hoping that this would kind of go away on its own right um, you know because there are people that you know they they regenerate and you know they get put in right. the right situation but this isn't the case for her right. you know a lot of people um, have been telling us about like live donors and everything like that but the fact of the matter is Becky's liver when she came in you need um, you need 20% of your liver to survive. And when they did the biopsy, she has um, 25% functionality. So she's very close. And because of that, we can't have a live donor. Um, so we're trying to raise awareness now that, you know, how important it is to become a donor. And, um, you know, that, that's what we'd like to get out of it as well. Um, you know, we're very, we're extremely overwhelmed with the generosity of, of complete strangers and our friend, friends and family. We've gotten so much support ever since we made our formal announcement. And um, it was actually a really big release for us because, you know, we just got married. So, yes. you know, I would get messages from my friends and family. Oh, congratulations. How's everything going? And you're like, what do you, what do you say to that? You know, right. you can't really do anything. So, um, 
so we're just we're very thankful, very grateful for all the support that we've gotten up up till now and and continue to get through everyone. I mean, we she gets like twenty thank you uh, like get well cards a day. It's ridiculous, like the amount of people that have just been. And and that just shows you how much she means to everybody Absolutely. because right. you know she just touches so many people right. that you know they want her to feel better and they you know they want they want her Becky, their Becky back you know Absolutely. and um and it's just it, it's it's sad it's very sad and um, we just want to get through this and get home and start our lives together and you know the generosity that everyone's been giving us is is completely helpful you know we're not people to ask for money um, we're not people to ask for anything really I mean and that's why we didn't tell anyone for over a month but you know you got to a point where she got listed and it was right. very serious and we're like well we, we have to tell people now I mean we have to let her clients know and, and everything because you know that would get pushed off and and you can only tell her clients that you know she's off on medical leave for so long without giving a reason so it was just it was a huge release and then as soon as it happened the, the you know the immediate 24 to 48 hours were just completely overwhelming. Like even I'm today, sure. Sure like right. it's it hasn't stopped and it hasn't right. slowed down. My phone's constantly going and and um, it's just the, you know the outpouring of support. It's just right. I can't thank everyone enough. It's right. just it's amazing. And even the photography community has stepped up and help, helped me out. You know, they offered to edit my weddings for me. That's and, right. Yeah. And and I think get Carl, me going. Carlton Ike, uh, yeah. Stepped yeah, up. Yeah. She and, reached and, out and, to me. Yes. And, absolutely. You know, I'm so grateful yeah. for that. Yeah. I mean, luckily, luckily my my summer is a little lighter. Um. So I only have like you know four or five. But um. But they've re like the the community, the photography community, the you know her hair community, like all of her friends, and it's just it's so overwhelming really and um, we're just very 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 grateful for everything cool man well i'm i'm gonna wish becky and you the very best and thank you i hope this short interview with you will show people that you know this is the way to do it really to step yeah. up and 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 just help you know it doesn't have to be a, a huge sum small or big uh whatever you can afford at this time mm -hmm. is and really look into being be, becoming a donor i mean like i said right you know right, absolutely you know you go you go and get your license you know renewed and you don't really realize like right. how how much that little heart on your license can really help absolutely. but that could save somebody's life and and whoever does that like right now like that's for Becky, yep. and Absolutely. it's saving her life. Absolutely, um, Absolutely. So it's just like it's it's very intense, but you know sure. we're um, we're trying our best to. She's she's so strong. She's she's ready. We're both ready. We want to move forward. So we're just um, just at a waiting game, but we're we're very grateful for everyone. Give her uh, our very best. And, I absolutely uh, will. And, Thank uh, you. And I'm, I'm so glad to hear that she's uh, able to step out of her room yes. and go get some sun. As yeah, actually, said. when we get done right now, we're, I'm awesome. going to go take her up to the, they have a healing garden Excellent. on the seventh floor. Oh, wow. We're going to go out there and she loves to just lay in the sun and soak it in and relax. Awesome. And awesome. So, yeah. Very good. Well, thank you again, David. I, I look I forward to it. seeing and hearing uh, the progress and yes. the uh, the success of this story. Definitely. So thank you so much Definitely. for joining me today. And if anybody wants any updates on her um, more frequently, we do updates. And on the GoFundMe us, you, page, right? Yeah, you don't even have to donate to get updates. Like what you can do is you just go to the website and there's a subscribe button. And if you subscribe, anytime that there's an update, you get it emailed to you. So you don't even have to keep checking back. And like I said, you don't have to donate. You just, you know, we just want to raise awareness. And, sure. you know, even though you're healthy, whoever it is in, in this world, like this could happen. Absolutely. Thanks again, David. Take care. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.